Hi. Hi, my name is Robin Bremer and I'd like to share an experience, a supernatural experience that I had with God. Um, this is a very important experience that happened a long time ago, but it really is something that I believe you need to know um, to see how the spirit realm operates. Um, when I was two years old, my mother had made for me a uh, little costume with a, like an a elephant costume, like an animal costume, maybe an elephant, and it had a little tail on the back, and I remember putting it on and rolling down my grandmother's hill and crawling on my hands and knees on my grandmother's hill, just, you know, having a really good time acting like a little kid. And I was probably less than two years old. Um, and all of a sudden I heard this voice. It was very loud and it was not audible that anyone else could hear, but it sounded audible and it said, what are you doing on the ground acting like a kid? You're acting foolish. Get off, up, get up off the ground and stop acting like a kid. And so I did. And ever since that time I had been stifled not to have fun. I don't want to be foolish. I don't want to act like a little kid. And look at God's sense of humor. He made me into a clown. <laughs> so um, I recognized years later uh, I've come to realize that was not God's voice that was the devil's voice and he was intending to destroy my future but I heard that voice one other time I was going through a rough time in my life and I was walking by a new age bookstore and my mom had been into new age so I knew what it was all about. I knew it was not of God, that it was demonic and it was very dangerous. And it would take you into the supernatural things, but they were not of God. They were not led, directed, and influenced by God. They were uh, led and directed and influenced by demons. Um, so I knew that the supernatural, um, that the new age was not something to do. But I was walking in front of a new age bookstore and I felt I needed help. And so I turned to go into the bookstore thinking I might find some help there when I heard this voice again. Well, I said to myself, no, I know better. I'm a Christian, and I know that this isn't good. And I heard this voice again, the same voice. I recognized it instantly. It says, you're a big girl. You can go in the bookstore if you want. It won't hurt anything. Don't matter. You're a big girl. Make your own choice. And instantly I recognized it as the devil's voice, the same voice I heard when I was two years old. And I turned around and walked out of the store. And um, that was one of my experiences in the supernatural where God protected me. And, I, and years later, 20, 30, 40 years later, when I was looking at pictures, I saw the picture of me in that little costume. And I realized I was probably about two years old. And it just amazes me that even as a two-year-old, that the devil, if he knows anything about your future or anything about who or what you're called to be, that he will try to um, destroy that in any way he can. And so parents, dedicate your kids to the Lord. Plead the blood of Jesus over them. But most of all, uh, Romans 3 says, whoever calls, uh, Romans 3 says, all of us have sinned. Romans 6 says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is life through Jesus. And Romans 10 says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. So just say this prayer with me. Just say, Father God, I receive the free gift of Jesus dying for my sins. I call on the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. And just now that you're a Christian, now you have the right to, to ask God and speak protection over your children from these kinds of things happening to you and to them. And my name is Robin Bremer. And you can get more um, on my supernatural encounters with God in my book, Feed My People Joy at Amazon, or on my website, ribbonstheclown.com. And I'm out. Have a blessed day.